This is question number four. In the first part, we're asked to express x squared minus 6x plus 11 in the form x minus p all squared plus q. The question carries two marks. All we're looking to do here is complete the square. So we'll have x minus 3. We square the bracket. We subtract away minus 3 squared and then add the 11. So tidying this up, x minus 3 all squared plus 2. We can see that the value of p is 3 and the value of q is 2. In the second part, it says use the result from part A1 to show that the equation x squared minus 6x plus 11 equals 0 has no real solutions. The question carries two marks. I've got quite a few different choices here. I'm just looking ahead at the question and later on we're going to be sketching and finding the vertex. Therefore, I'm not going to use that method. I could just go ahead and graph this. What I'm going to do instead is set this equal to 0. So we'll have x minus 3 all squared plus 2 is equal to 0. Subtracting now the 2 from both sides, x minus 3 all squared would be equal to minus 2. This can never be equal to minus 2 for real solutions. So all I'm going to do is state now that x minus 3 all squared can't be equal to minus 2 for real solutions. So all I've done now is said essentially we can't root a negative number and get a real value. As stated, I could have gone ahead and drawn a sketch. Alternatively, you can state that the function has a minimum value of 2 when x is equal to 3. So we can say now minimum value of function, so minimum value of function is equal to 2 and we can say that happens when x is equal to 3. So when x is equal to 3, therefore it will never be equal to 0. So we can say never equal to 0. So that's another alternative. I think this is probably the best one given that we're going to be sketching this shortly. So in part B, the first part, we've got here for two marks. It says now a curve has equation y is equal to x squared minus 6x plus 11 and we need to find the coordinates of the vertex of the curve. If we look at this, this is simply a graph transformation. We're going to move to the right by 3 and up by 2. So we can say the vertex or minimum point will have the coordinates 3, 2. And our completed square form does that for us. We can see it just here. In the second part for three, uh, three marks, we need to sketch the curve indicating the value of y where the curve crosses the y-axis. We can say now it will cross the y-axis when x is equal to 0. When x is equal to 0, y will be equal to 0 squared minus 6 lots of 0 plus 11. So we can see that y is equal to 11. So we'll have the point 0, 11. Let's go ahead and quickly sketch this. We're going to have now our minimum point. Our minimum point will be at 3, 2. And we'll have now on the y-axis this point right here and that will be our 0, 11. So it's going to look something give or take like so. So the parabola will come through, will come down now to the minimum point, it will turn around and open up. Let's just make that slightly more accurate. This is going to be 3, 2, this will be 0, 11, and we can say y is equal to x squared minus 6x plus 11. So there's a quick sketch We've stated now the point of intersection here and I've also put on the minimum value. In the third part for three marks, we're asked to describe the geometrical transformation that maps the curve with equation y equals x squared minus 6x plus 11 onto the curve with equation y is equal to x squared. Just consider what we did to go from the origin. We move right by 3 and up by 2. So these were translations. We're going to do exactly the same. We state now in a sentence that these will be a translation or both translations. We'll have translations in x and y direction. The translation as a vector is going to be minus 3, minus 2. So we're asked to write this out. I'll let you write the sentence. This now, the transformation that maps y is equal to x squared minus 6x plus 11 onto the curve of y is equal to x squared is a translation in both the x and the y direction, and we could state now that the vector that we're going to have is minus three, minus two. If you stated it was translated three units to the left and two units down, you would also get the marks. 
So construct a sentence with this information in for the full marks. Uh.